Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Vistera Photography and today I have a really quick Capture One tip for you. So one of the things that you can do in Capture One, um, and this is kind of hidden, um, so if you don't know this there, you may not know about it, is you can actually create your own custom color profiles. So when you load an image in, in Capture One, um, Capture One comes with its own um, ICC profile and curves. So you can find this in the base characteristics tab, which is under the color tab which is on the um, left hand side of the interface and it is uh, depending on how you have it set up in my case it's it's the fourth um fourth tab in so under base characteristics you can see icc profile d700 generic v2 um but you can actually create your own versions of these within um capture one uh, just by using the color editor so basically what you do is you can tweak the colors whatever way you want and then you can save this as your own custom profile so to give you an example um i am going to tweak the colors in this and then save it as a profile so say for example you have a um you're taking photos from a certain camera and you think the calibration is slightly off uh, it's not quite to your liking and if you want to kind of tweak it to your own taste you can do that so in this case i'm just going to make some minor tweaks um, and I'm going to kind of exaggerate them a bit just so you can see them on the video. So in this case, say I'm going to increase the saturation of the yellows and maybe bring up the brightness a bit as well. Um, and again, as I said, I'm just doing this to kind of exaggerate it so that you can see what the effect is. So again, I'm going to bring up the saturation of the sky and maybe bring the lightness down a bit. And Again, there's no real greens in this image, so I'm not going to do anything with that. And then just for the reds, I'm just going to bring up the saturation of the reds a bit as well. Um, again, there's no real purples in this, but if you were kind of, if you were doing this properly, you would do this on a few different images and kind of um, get the results that you want or use something like a color checker. Okay, so once you've done that, um, you can actually do kind of uh, more selective colors as well if you want to. So for example, um, say I wanted to focus on, say, maybe the road color here, which is kind of, it's a specific area of blue, so I can increase the saturation of that. Um, or I could change the hue, I could change the colors, you could do whatever you want, um, and you can use the sampler to create as many um, patches as you want. So again, I could create this kind of blue for this, so now I have two different ones here. And I can increase the saturation, which is obviously going too far. Or I could drop down the lightness. And again, as I said, you can do basically do whatever you want here in the color editor. And once you have finished that, what all you need to do is if you go into the little pop up menu here and go save as ICC profile. And this will bring up your dialog box. Now it should bring you to the right location. And the best thing to do is not to change that because <laughs> otherwise you'll lose where it is. Um, so in this case, I will call this D700 EX experimental. Okay, and then I'll hit save. And that will now save that as a new color profile, which I can apply to a different image. So to do that, let me actually go to a different image. So I'll try and pick another one. So I'll use another image here with the buses, just so you can see. And if we look up here now under ICC profile, you should now see experimental, which is the one we just created a minute ago. Now, again, as I said, I've exaggerated this just to make it um, easier to see on the video but uh, if you were doing this yourself you'd kind of tweak it to get your colors just the way you want them and um, it's very handy if you have a camera say uh, that you don't like the kind of default colors with so say for example i know some people complain about sony's and the skin's been a bit yellow but you can actually use the color editor here tweak the skin tones and then save that as your custom color profile and then you can apply that every time um you want to from there on in. And you can actually set this as default as well. So if again, if I go back up here to base characteristics, I can go set as defaults. And in this case, it's, I'm using a Nikon D700. Um, but whatever camera you shot this with will come up here. So then from then on in, whenever you import, it will use that color profile. So that's basically it. That's, I mean, it's a really quick tip, um, but it's actually something that's really useful to know if you're a Capture One user. And uh, that's about it. So if you found this video useful, please, um, like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching see you next time